So I'm going to talk a little bit about energy in the developing world and I'm just going to focus for a moment on Indonesia. Indonesia is a country of 260 million people, however 35 million people live their day without a uh, supply of electricity. Now this uh, energy inequity uh, can be caused by many reasons, but it's a serious contributor to poverty, poor health, poor education, and in some cases, extremism. And this is a problem that's being played out across uh, the developing world, uh, Africa, Pacific, uh, Asia. So while you think about that, I'd like to introduce Carnegie Clean Energy, which is a leading provider of remote renewable power solutions. We're a publicly listed company, and we've spent 10 years developing a wave energy technology and integrating solar, battery and diesel systems in remote areas. Let's talk a bit about the examples um, that I've got for you. Uh, so this is a beautiful island, uh, Thevenard Island off the coast of northwest Western Australia, very remote. And its power supply was cut when uh, the adjacent oil and gas facility was decommissioned. Carnegie provided the solar battery diesel system, which reduced their fuel use by 94%. Uh, interestingly, with this one, you can see the solar configuration is a bit unusual because this is where cyclones occur. So we designed it to uh, withstand the cyclones, and two years ago, cyclone Olwen came through. Um, the lights went out on the mainland due to down poles and wires, but the lights stayed on on Thevenard Island. Uh, this is uh, the world's largest radio telescope project, and this part of it is in Western Australia. Um, we're providing the power system, uh, solar battery diesel system for it. It's a very challenging program because uh, it's in the middle of the desert. It's very remote. And also, we had to shield the system from electromagnetic noise that would interfere with the radio telescope. So you see here uh, a burnt pole and wire, which is a very common site in Western Australia where bushfires or wildfires destroy this infrastructure, cutting off uh, supply to farmers and small towns. Now here the utility is actually contracting Carnegie to deploy standalone power systems because it's more cost effective than reinstating the poles and wires. There are many more examples uh, that demonstrate that re remote renewable power can be more cost effective and reliable to deliver power to those who uh, the grid doesn't reach and may never reach. So it's with this uh, significant experience that we've had that's hard fought in some of the harshest conditions that we look to uh, deploy renewable microgrids in the developing world. Uh, these systems um, will build our business, will scale our business, but also will deliver uh, uh, will improve the energy inequity we see in the developing world. We know energy, clean, especially clean and affordable energy, is at the heart of a world that's prosperous, connected, and peaceful, and of course, is taking action on climate change. So I ask you to join us, to support us in this journey, uh, because electrification is a driver of prosperity. It's not a consequence of it. Let's make this happen. Thank you.